Are you streaming yet? Yeah. All right. Uh, hit B when I tell you to. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Right no, not yet. I can't consume any more healing items for 51 seconds. That's, you, is that why I was telling you you can't do it? Because I just took a health potion. So you can't hit B and take all the other stuff? Doubt it. Oh, no, you probably still can. It says I cannot consume any more healing items. Uh, do you have all the other buffs? Like what? Is there a bunch of stuff up there that says like iron skin? I didn't, I didn't press B yet. Oh. Do you okay, want well, me to? Uh, hit B. Yeah, I took him. Okay, I'm gonna drop okay. it. I'm gonna drop it. Okay. You just picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> what do I pick? Do I drop it? I dropped it. Wait, is this gonna kill Ryan? Yeah, I killed Ryan. We gotta go! We gotta go! 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 He's stuck. Oh, oh, no, no, he's going. He's going. He goes slow first. Remember? Okay, okay. After your flame lash is over, use bows. Shoot these guys with the who. Okay, I'm saving that. I'm going to do. Oh, I should have done. Okay. I'm. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, the the Phoenix Blaster is really effective against the Hungries. I, oh. Knock out the Hungries and then. I the, logged out. I logged out. You're still here. You're still here. I know, but my tab closed. I think I got sticky keys or something. Stop. You need to disable that. Okay, shoot at the hungry and then shoot at the eye. I am, I am. We're doing really we good. It's doing it again. Are you hitting oh. shift? Why are you hitting shift? Why are you over I'm there? Not shift Jesus, at all. Stop scaring me. We're doing okay. 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 Oh my god! His health is low. His health is low. Oh. He's going to die. He's 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 like Brian, but like he's going to die. So Brian's not gonna die? Uh, not, not, uh, shoot, not now, Abigail, stop making me think! He's getting faster. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah! I was doing nothing. I hate the mini shark before it's mega. Oh, he's so weak. He's, he's dead. He's practically dead. Molten Fury. Molten Fury gives me heart. I am. I am. I think it's because I was hitting the arrow keys at the same time that I was clicking. What? We did not need to take all these potions at all, did we? It's oh, doing it's, it. it's. My health is so good. He's so dead. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. stop, stop. oh why? <laughs> Abigail, why are you over there? <laughs> If we run out of space, we're so dead. We need to kill him yeah, fast. Yeah, kinda. He's gonna speed up. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's really speeding up. Oh god. Oh. Yay. We didn't even knock out half of it. Okay, we're in hard mode. We are officially in hard mode. It means we're so under-equipped. Did he drop anything? The, the ancient spirits of light and dark have been... He's dropped, yeah, he dropped some stuff. Have been released. Okay. The ancient spirits, what? It means that What's stuff's that mean? it means stuff's gonna start spreading. Did you get a treasure bag? Hold on. Yep. Nice. It smells so fishy in my room. Abigail? Why does my room smell so fishy? What does that mean? Okay, what emblem did you get? We might need to exchange emblems according to our skills. Emblem? Emblem. In the uh in the thing. Jagged Ranger. Hey, do you wanna fight another one? about that. Do you, you sure? I think we're having fish for dinner. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You don't want to find another one? Mm, not exactly. Abigail, that was super easy. We, we, we severely over-equipped for that. Yes, but if we're going to find another one, I need to disable sticky keys. Okay, why, why were you using shift? What is shift? I wasn't using shift at all. And I don't know why, it just kept, like, logging me out just out of that one. It never has done that before. Alright, let's 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 head back over here again. Oh, did you get a demon heart? A what? A demon heart. Yeah. Okay, consume that like it's a, um, this is considered like, the best drop in the game because it gives us a, a sixth equipment slot. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat mine. 
Mmm, yes, tasty. I, I cannot go at the moment. Oh, you- wait, what? I cannot go at the moment. Colin, can we wait to fight another all flesh? Yeah, we can. It's fine. You're okay. Can I, is it okay if I leave right now? We killed our guy. We didn't even say goodbye to him. I know! Well, I, I mean, it's kind of good that we didn't say goodbye to him because, like, um, you know, you kind of wonder why we were saying goodbye to him. So, we're not ever gonna get Brian again? Oh, we already got a new guy. Really? Yeah, he arrived, like, mid-fight. No one cared about him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh wow, I'm, I'm getting, I'm already getting living fire blocks and everything. Oh, everything's stronger now that we're in the hard mode, by the way. I see that, but I really need to get home. And I need to go. Oh, what? What do you mean? I have to go eat. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's okay. dinner time. Bye. What? I don't have one of those. You don't have a magic mirror yet? No. Oh. Can I just leave? Oh shit. What? What, there's already a um a hollow up here. A hollow? What's that mean? Oh, um, you'll see when you get up here. Okay. There's um there's a hollow up here. What's a hollow? That means uh, we have to be in this biome and we can spawn in. We have to make a, an arena down here. Why do you keep dying? A fucking rune wizard. What the hell? What are rune wizards? What the fuck is he? Oh, he can't fire it as long as I'm firing. Oh, he has so much health! Jesus! Everything's hard mode. Everything's hard mode. It's so hard. Hey, how much gold did you get from the drop? I lost connection. Okay, well, I gotta go. Okay, when you. Okay, I'm already getting Souls of Light. This is good. Yes. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Night as well. What does that do? The hell are they shooting at me? Cursed, cursed flames. I believe. I don't know. I see. Race cars. I'm uncomfortable. This area bigger. Oh, we can use that lava up there. We just need to find a large pixie biome. I believe it has to be underground. I don't know. 
I can confirm that. What is Pixie now? You don't tell me? Oh, 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 hello! You, you hurt, you hurt, you hurt. Yeah, you hurt, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the first step in hard mode, or one of the first steps, is to... We need to do the mimics. We need to kill him, and then we need to get the deadly stormbow, and then the stormbow will help us kill. Um, help us. <gasps> Wiz, as a wizard. Mm -hmm. Stop killing. <laughs> The, the the deadly stormbow will help us kill the destroyer. Stop. Greater healing potions? No. Not at all. Let's help us low. Let's help us low. Okay, I need to assign him to a wound. Yes, he already has a wound. Technically, uh, there are wounds available, so he should. No! Wizard, okay, I'm leaving the game. I gotta, just gotta get up. He's just gonna die. Okay, where's he at now? How do I get him up here? Do you not have housing? Well then, put him in... Put him in this one. Now if I leave in Dream, will he, will he come up here? Maybe time just needs to pass, I don't know. So, looks like the two... Oh yeah, we need to go and destroy some demon altars. Um, Soonish. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the enchant, the ancient armor. Should I kill it? Possessed armor. That's even that thing. Is he immune to? Eleven silver, wonderful. Do we need fifteen of these per mimic? And the mimic has a one in four chance of dropping it, which means we're gonna need sixty at most. Hopefully. At most. But I, I doubt that it'll take four times, but I also don't want to get my hopes up. So I'm going to... Why, why can't I... 
You guys gonna confusion or you gonna throw a bite? Oh shit, I'm just gonna confuse her. Oh, they're killing me. They're they're just cave bats. They're giant cave bats, but still. Jesus! 47 damage. You guys are actually de deadly. Is that a mermaid? Oh, those things are horrible. I am not prepared for hard mode. What's the first thing to do in hard mode? Oh, we need to go and destroy those other things. You know what? I'm going to go do that first. Okay, I should have gotten the... Yeah, pawn hammer. And I got this thing too, which does the exact same amount of damage. Oh, it was less, actually. But it does have... Stronger knockback. A breaker blade. Maybe if I... Oh. If I... Take it to this dude and reforge it. I need a savage. It's gonna happen. Hello. Sure. Oh, um, probably do. Alright, let me think about that for a second. How about a donut? No, oh, individual definitely, I think that can. Glazed or brown sugar, just no, no chocolate or white. Sure. Thank you. Okay, see ya. You too. Uh, some extra stuff that I would recommend having. I can't understand why. Is 
Just because it's associated with me, you won't think I've changed. Let me explain something to you. I have not changed. I'm still the same guy. So let's you into my personal life. Don't believe me. Watch this Wednesday. The CB2. Christ, you're strong. It's my reality show. And it is a winner. I am a winner. John Morrison is a winner. Because he beat Biggie last week. He's going to be Pokey. Oh, I don't need to come down here. I'm stupid. So why is there still normal music? Even though I'm in literally in a hollow. I am surrounded by hollow. Is it not considered a hollow? No, it is. Clearly. The music's just glitching out or something. There's a wolf! Oh shit. Oh god. I cannot survive outside anymore. It is too difficult. So slow. So the wall of flesh has two main ways of attacking. The first is his tentacles that do quite a high amount of damage, and the other is his lasers, and these don't do much damage, but they'll hit you quite frequently. But with the amount of armor that you have on, 
they shouldn't do much damage at all. Probably only take about one life point away if they're amazing it. So, this is a tenant who will do the most damage. You want to try and take them out. This will then clear the way so that you can attack the eyeball. You'll slowly regenerate and come back and pick them off one by one whilst maintaining the high level of damage on the eyeball. Expert mode was introduced in the Terraria 1.3 update for PC, PS4, and the upcoming Xbox One mobile and Switch versions of Terraria. Enemies in this mode get double hit points and double damage, in addition to some bosses having more deadly AI and attack modes. That said, this mode can be very rewarding if you learn a few tricks. How's going crew? This is Happy Days, and today we're looking at 30 awesome tips you must know to help defeat Terraria's expert mode. When starting your expert mode world, quickly harvest lots of wood and craft lots of wooden broadswords and bows until you get high quality modifiers on them. As there's plenty of wood, you can afford to try... I am so retarded. I am so stupid. Hey there people, so today I am bringing you my Terraria hard mode guide and uh, apparently we're having a party too. So uh, this is my newer, better one, of course, I did do one long ago. This is including what hard mode is and how to get there, preparations and tips, how to get wings and the new ores, expert level details where applicable, uh, and a brief overview of the bosses and events, new enemies, new items, and so on. So. Uh, this will be covering all platforms as usual, so mobile, iOS and Android, uh, console, both old gen and new gen consoles, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, PC, 3DS, and others, basically it's an all-in-one. And I'll throw in some timestamps in the description for the different sections of the video as well as uh, at least one wiki link in that description as well. So what is hard mode? Well, first of all, do not confuse hard mode with hardcore or expert. Those are different things. Hardcore is a player difficulty you choose when you make your player. Uh, and expert is a world difficulty that you choose when you make your world. But hard mode is a harder version of your existing world. Uh, it's sort of like starting over. It's sort of like a new quest, uh, but you're no actually you're not actually starting over uh, what happens is uh, basically the world changes so significantly that it just feels like you're starting over essentially um, so you don't actually start over you, you still have all your stuff but the game changes so much it kind of feels like you're starting over uh, there are many new and harder enemies tons of new items weapons accessories and gear and uh, well, yeah some of these guys for instance and uh, I'm going to get out of there before they kill me because I'm not geared up yet um, so there's tons of new stuff uh, items weapons accessories gear enemies new NPCs your existing NPCs will have some new things for sale uh, and uh, there's new materials, new crafting stations, even a whole new biome. You can get wings only in hard mode. New ores become available. The way your world uh, operates actually changes a bit. So first of all, how do you get hard mode? Well, second of all, <laughs> your world is automatically converted into hard mode after you defeat the wall of flesh. So you have your regular world, you defeat the wall of flesh boss, and then you are in hard mode. Uh, this is signified by the message when you defeat the Wall of Flesh. It says, the ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. And new and powerful things come into the world. And uh, this is an expert world, so even the slimes are uh, more dangerous in hard mode. But we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> not in normal mode, only in hard or Yeah, or not in normal mode, only in expert hard mode. They're, they're back again. Slimes are dangerous again. But we'll get to that. Um... So once that little message comes, the world is permanently changed. You defeat the Wall of Flesh, it gives you that message, it's experience of light and dark. The world is permanently changed and there's no way back except to make another new world. 
Uh, so what changes, other than there's a, whole, a lot of new stuff, new items and enemies and so on, what else changes? Uh, there are two giant biome stripes that are created at that point in a giant B shape, which is centered at the center of the underworld. Uh, there are two giant biome stripes that are created at that point in a giant B shape which is centered at the center of the underworld and then goes up and out towards the sides. So uh, diagonal stripes, giant diagonal stripes, one to the left or the west and one to the right or the east and uh, they extend again from the center of the underworld upwards diagonally. One will be the new Hallow biome, the other will be Corruption or Crimson, depending which one was already in your world. Uh, so it'll be the same one you already had, normally. Uh, I think there's a chance on Mobile that uh, you can get Crimson in a Corruption world, but that's, a, that's an aside. Um, generally speaking, it's whichever one you already had. And um, so the new Hallowed biome is, uh, that's what I'm, I'm making my way towards here, I want to be able to show it to you. It's a happy, magical new place where there's unicorns and pixies and they frolic freely uh, and as you can see it can be even desert or it can be regular uh, there are different versions so there are unicorns and pixies and it's wonderful and happy and look at the colorful trees and everything's wonderful and happy except that they're all going to kill you it's actually very hard um, unicorns and pixies and everything when you're starting out they're going to be a, a big challenge um, so it looks nice but that doesn't make it nice. Keep that in mind. I just wanted to show you, and uh, as I say, there are pixies and unicorns, but honestly, I'm not prepared to face them yet, especially in Expert. All I've got is my pre hardwell crimson armor, which I put on because I thought it was more likely I'd survive with that than with my meteor that I used to kill the Wall of Flesh. Um, but yeah, I know, I'm afraid, and this is a, a world where I just got two hard modes in Expert, so uh, I gotta gear up, right? <laughs> So, uh, yes, the hallow is it's happy looking, but it's, it's going to kill you. Uh, these biomes now spread aggressively. So the hallow, the corruption, crimson, whichever you have, um, they now spread aggressively. Not just the grass. Before, only the grass would be converted. But now, at this point, when you're in hard mode, blocks will be converted as well. Uh, so if they are not stopped, the spread of these biomes can eventually take over the entire world and all of this nice, what's called the purity regular sort of forest and the regular desert and so on can be erased with hallow or corruption or crimson um, so uh, there are certain types of blocks that can be converted and certain types that well actually most actually cannot but certain very common blocks can which means they will spread um, but since it's only certain block types it is possible to halt and prevent that spread uh, and there's various ways of doing that, which I'll get to as well. Uh, these biomes can now intersect with and spread to other mini biomes. As you saw, uh, I had a hallow desert there, and you can have a corrupt or crimson desert as well, for example. Um, and they actually spread very quickly through desert, particularly by the way. Um, so you can get like little variant mini biomes, like hallowed or corrupt desert. Um, of course, Corrupt and Crimson Desert can happen before that anyway, but uh, with that giant V shape, uh, it just shoots up and whatever it hits is converted. And then not only that, they're spreading aggressively so they can spread into other places as well. Uh, so you can get some, some unique areas with unique enemies, and you may have seen some of the uh, enemies that were charging through those areas. What is my luck with golden bunnies and stuff when I'm making videos? And you're all going to be upset if I don't go and get that, right? Um, I've had enough people yell at me, what are you doing not getting the golden bunny or the golden squirrel or whatever? So, interlude. I got it again. Okay? I got it. Anyway, um, so let's talk about preparation uh, for hard mode. So, there are some things you can do in pre-hard mode to prepare yourself for going into hard mode that will help you quite a lot. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with those spreading biomes. It's a good idea if you don't mind taking the time to wall off your existing corruption or crimson areas before you defeat the wall of flesh. Um, so you'll need to dig all the way around them. And that's what I did here. You can see I actually have a shaft um, and I went down and around and around and around all the way around that area of crimson. Now, unfortunately that V shot up right there. And so now it's on the other side again anyway. 
but um, uh, yeah, that happened to be the crimson one in this world because I had crimson, and the giant V shot up right there, and it's on the other side. Uh, so eventually, I might want to do something about that. But uh, more important is actually to protect um, your spawn area, and of course, if you do dig around these in pre-hard mode like I did that will generally prevent them from spreading unless of course it's overlapped by the giant bee um, but I did that actually with all of my existing ones you can see here as well uh, this was a crimson area I dug all the way around it <laughs> and created essentially a barrier there as well so that'll prevent that area from being uh, infected shall we say so quickly um, one thing I did not do though which you may want to consider as well is to basically make a barrier around your uh, spawn area, particularly if that's where you have your NPC village. Uh, you want to protect your village, especially from the corruption or the crimson, because if they spread to this area, these guys will all move out. Um, so it's a good idea to create a barrier there. I'm going to have to do that in a little bit of a panic uh, because uh, I don't want to lose this area. But um, so as far as actually doing that, uh, the way the spread works is that in hard mode and only in hard mode, Corruption, Crimson, and Hallow can spread to blocks up to three blocks away from the originally corrupted or hallowed block. So uh, specifically, I did mention certain types, specifically they will convert stone, ice, sand, hardened sand, and sandstone, and also thorns and vines, so the actual plants, some of them, um, can be corrupted as well. Of course the grass as well, which can happen in pre-hard mode. Uh, corruption and Crimson, but not Hallow, can also convert mud to dirt. Uh, and of course, dirt, if it's near enough to the surface, can grow their grass. Uh, so they will, Corruption and Crimson, will gradually um, convert mud with jungle grass, i.e. your jungle. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Daniel Daniel Bryan's plan 